The opportunity of a lifetime came to Alex Olson last winter when he studied abroad for four months in beautiful Australia. But it all came to a crashing halt last May when he was having trouble walking and talking, his balance was way off, and his whole body felt tingly. I figured I would uh, hopefully wake up in the morning and everything would be all right. But as his symptoms grew worse, Olson asked friends to bring him to the ER the next morning. By the time we had gotten to the hospital, I wasn't able to, to walk into the ER on my own. And inside, the Aussie doctors were thrown for a loop. While it was obvious signs of uh, typical stroke, we had all kind of unanimously agreed that that wouldn't make sense for a healthy young 21 year old male. But after hours of several tests and scans, the docs finally came back with an answer. Olson had suffered a brainstem stroke. When I heard the doctor say those words, um, it was difficult to handle and I cried, yeah. Although not confident, doctors told Olson he had a good shot of almost a full recovery, a silver lining in what Olson calls a dark time. But at the same time, when I couldn't move my arm or hand and could, uh, could barely move my right leg, it was, it was difficult to believe. But that possibility of one day regaining his mobility and strength pushed Olson through as he spent over a month in the Aussie hospital working with physical therapists. Right off the bat, I think everything was, was challenging. And that challenge continued when he returned to the States late last summer. Most people post brainstem stroke, it's, it's not uncommon that they're, they're not going to be nearly as functional. For the past nine months, Dan Johnson has been Olson's champion. I got you. Pushing and encouraging him, focusing on the weakness and stability in Olson's right side. You've got it. And helping Olson reach a goal that started in his hospital bed, joking with friends that once he could walk again, he'd run a marathon, a goal he now plans to check off his list this Saturday. I used to think running was uh, more of a chore than really something I could enjoy, but I definitely placed a new value on, on running um, because there, there's been a brief moment, brief time period in my life where I wasn't able to run or even walk. And Olson's race will come just days after the one-year anniversary of his stroke. I'm very excited to uh, have it be a sort of celebration um, and a marker of how this recovery has gone. In Fargo, Bailey Hurley, Valley News Live.